Kamiko, I understand, were you already asleep when the when you got announced to the draft? How'd you find out you were drafted? Um, Kareen called me, but I was actually doing homework. Um, uh, she just called me and, and uh, told me to turn on the TV and, you know, I was excited, but at the same time, you know, I know it's a business and I just gotta keep, stay focused. Bill Lambeer's got quite a reputation. He was Alexis Hornbuckle's coach her rookie year. Have you talked to him yet? Um, what? no, just, you know, the short conversation I had on the phone when he was just telling me congratulations, that's why I was ready. Um, but, I mean, he seems like a cool guy, you know, there's a lot of laughter on that, in that phone call, so I think we'll get along. Kamiko, you had to know there was, there was a good chance you were going to get drafted. How? It's hard for us to imagine you not watching it at all, not paying attention, doing homework. <laughs> how, um, how are you able honestly, to keep I, I had no idea, you know. Um, I had people, they tell me that they thought I could make it and get drafted, but I just kind of was just, just waiting, you know. I'm, I'm a humble person. I kind of just sit to myself, and you know, I got the news. A lot of people were hitting me up. My phone was blowing up, and I was just saying thank you. But like I said, you know, it's a business, so I just got to be ready. At what point during your senior year did you start realizing this might be a realistic possibility? For um, you? probably when Coach Law and Coach Elsley pulled me in into the office, and you know, they told me if I keep playing the way I'm playing and and keep it up, my chances, you know, my stock will go up. But I try not to look at that. I just wanted to get this team as far as it could go, and. I mean, the lead eight is what we did, but now it's time to move on. So. And when they were talking when about. Was that? I'm sorry, Go when, ahead. when was that? When um, was that was probably sometime in like January, February, you know, and it was the second half of the SEC season. So um, I just took it for what it was and just continued to play for the team. When you, when they were talking about you yesterday, they were talking about Coach Elsie's impact on you and how she <laughs> changed your game. Yeah. Do you look at that and think it just how much? You credit her for what she kind of helped you oh, do in the last definitely. year? I mean, Coach Elsie helped me on and off the court, you know. She helped me mature and become the person that I am. Um, but she just, like, instilled confidence in me and just told me to go out there and play to the best of my ability. And, you know, at the same time as staying on me, you know, she let me play the game of basketball and how I know how to play. So, I mean, it worked out for the best. And, you know, I looked to her. I told her don't change her phone number because I'm sure I'm calling her every other day and not every day. So... Was it hard to celebrate when Tabor didn't get drafted? It was, and you know, Tabor's a great player, and I feel like she should have, but I hope there's a team out there to give her a chance because she can bring something great to a team, and then I know she wants to, so I hope the best for her. So she said she would hope, that's what she's hoping for? Yeah, I mean, Tabor's going to play as long as she can play. I know at the end of the day she wants to do, like, missionary work and, you know, use basketball to, to give back, but, I mean, she's a great player, and I feel like she should be out there playing, so I hope somebody looks at her. Kamiko, eventually you want to run a daycare, you said. You're going to start saving money <laughs> yes, now? Yes, I am. I do want to run a daycare. I know that's what I want to do when I'm done with basketball because, you know, I love kids. So um, it's still on my list. So. You Let's signed see. with uh, Tisha Pinachero, is that correct? Yes. What, um, what made you select her? Actually, I was just, Justine Brown had called me. You remember Justine? And um, she said that Tisha was interested, and we just had, like, a, a short conversation on the phone. And, um, she seemed real cool, so I just brought it to Holly and the assistant coach's attention, and they all liked her, and, you know, I trust my coaches, so, you know, if they trust her, then that's just what I went for, and I talked to my dad, and he thought it was a great idea, so I just went with it. What's next for you? You Obviously, you've graduated already. What, do you, what are your plans um, before training camp? I mean, I'm working out. I'm doing everything with the girls. We play pickup, uh, I think, twice, three times a week. Um, I'm around with them tomorrow with Heather. And, of course, I text LZ, and we're going to get in the gym, and then she's going to work me out before I get there. But, I mean, just still go to class, same routine, nothing's really changed. When does camp start? Did they tell you? No. Um, it's a May, May Coach 5th. Coach is supposed to call me at some point and, and tell me what's going on. It's May 5th, by the way. Is it? Mm -hmm. Did they okay, give I need you to start any, a any, any idea what, I mean, when you talk with them briefly last um, night, what, the, what they foresee for you or role-wise? Um, the coach, he just said he, he loves the way I play because I'm, I'm patient and he thinks I'm a smart player. And he was like, he needs to be at the one, the two, or the three. And I just told him, whatever he needs me to do. I mean, this year I was kind of all over the floor. So um, I'm used to it. And, and this is a new team. And I'm just do whatever I got to do for the team. Do you think the fact that you can play multiple positions mm -hmm was attractive to them? Did they say that per se um, or, or not? I would just think so, just looking at the roster and like Kareen and, and Kelly and Vicky and all of them talking to me about the personnel, you know, because I don't really know anything much about the WNBA and the players, but from what I hear from other players, um, I think it might be me being versatile. It really will help the team out a lot. When you were growing up, you know, mm -hmm. kids say all the time, oh, when I'm in the league, was that always a goal of yours? And if so, 
Has um, it hit you yet? The it was, you know, when I was little, I've always wanted to do it. I didn't really know anything about it, and, and now I'm still kind of in awe. It's kind of like a blur because I'm still, like, learning. But, um, you know, I just I just try to stay grounded and just stay focused. You know, I don't want to look too far ahead because anything can happen. I still have to make the team. So I'm just going to work out and give it my best. Do you like going to New York, big city, or did you have any preference? Um, I didn't really have a preference. Um, I just wanted to be on the team with somebody I knew, and, you know, Kelly's there, so... Um, I think I'll be a little more comfortable with being away from home, especially that far. But, um, no, I didn't, I didn't really have preference. I mean, Coach, Coach Lambeer was in Duluth, Georgia. You may not have known that. He was scouting that tournament. Ends up <clears> taking <throat> you and Kelsey Bone. I guess he liked what he saw in Duluth. I guess so. And, you know, Kelsey, <laughs> she probably gave me a hard time because I did foul her that one play. I jumped on her back. But it's okay. You know, I'm sure we'll, we'll, we'll get close. Thanks. Thanks.